Investigation into the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash shows no outward evidence of engine failure. The National Transportation Safety Board released preliminary findings into the January 26 crash saying it appears the engine was working at the time of the crash because there was a cut tree branch at the crash scene. The NTSB report says the helicopter's instrument panel was completely destroyed in the wreckage. The main wreckage was 127 feet from the impact site, and that's where investigators found both engines, the entire fuselage, portions of the cockpit instrument panel and other key pieces of the aircraft. According to the report, the pilot's final transmission to the Southern California Terminal Radar Approach Control SCT, was to let the controller know he was trying to climb to 4,000 feet to get above the thick fog-slash-cloud layer. However, radar data collected by investigators shows the aircraft only reached 2,300 feet before trying to make a left turn. Eight seconds later the aircraft began descending, while trying to turn, at a very high rate of speed, dropping at rate of 4,000 feet per minute before crashing into the mountain. As we reported, NTSB officials said Kobe's Sikorsky S-76 chopper was not equipped with a Terrain Awareness and Warning System TAWS, nor was it outfitted with a Flight Data Recorder FDR, or Cockpit Voice Recorder CVR. The NTSB says it will release its final report in 12 to 18 months. That one is expected to include findings, recommendations and probable cause for the crash. As we told you, the NTSB says back in 2006 it recommended the FAA require all helicopters carrying six or more passengers to have TAWS, and for all rotorcraft to have an FDR and CVR. The FAA didn't mandate either. All eight passengers, Kobe, his daughter, Gianna, John Altobelli, Carrie Altobelli, Alyssa Altobelli, Sarah Chester, Peyton Chester, Christina Mauser, and the pilot were killed in the crash.